Hi there folks, Gareth here from Tracy and Matt, and I'm just going to be having a look at three SSDs today. Uh, the first one is this Kingston 256 SSD. We're going to be running some uh, AS SSD benchmarks on them just to have a look at them. Um, I do not have AC or AHCI enabled uh, because I'm in IDE mode, so uh, the scores will probably be quite low. However, it's going to be the same across the board, so we should be able to get a relative reading on each of them. This first one is the Kingston SSD Now 100V. It's uh, probably the most expensive of the bunch. Usually is considered around 200 pounds for this 256 model. You can get the 128 for about 150. Uh, it's about 170, including VAT. It gets pretty good reviews across the board. Uh, it's, I guess, the the basic specifications are that it's got a seek time of about 0.2 milliseconds. Uh, it works at about 1.2p per gigabyte, and then the write speed uh, obviously is is bragged to be 107.4 megabits per second, megabytes per second, and the on large files that'll be 274.3 megabytes per second. We're not quite getting those speeds on this, but then that's probably due to my setup on here. At least we'll be able to tell between the three discs, which is the king of the swingers here. So all in, the score is about 142 there. Not a bad score, I suppose, considering the uh, the standards of the hardware behind it. But we're going to move on to the second disc here, which is uh, going to be the Toshiba SSD Q series, 128 gigabyte version I have here. It's not the prettiest looking SSD, but then it spends its time inside a computer, so it doesn't need any decent art on it. And this one works out about 59p per gigabyte. It's got a SATA 3 interface on it, and it's priced around about £70, so it's noticeably cheaper than the Kingston before it. So this turns around with a, a noticeably higher score than the Kingston. Um, it's possible that the specifications of the computer are, are, are differing here greatly. But uh, moving on, the third disc we have here is my own personal one, the Vertex Plus R2. I figured I'd just throw this in here because I have it access to it. It's all hooked up and ready to go. Um, and I will be in the future enabling AHCI to try and get uh, better results out of this one. 
And this one has a, a, sequ a sequential read of 256 megabytes bragged, but we're getting 188 here. And uh, 155 megabyte write speed, but uh, it's 184, which is noticeably higher. This is a, a good bit cheaper than the Kingston again. It's, uh, it's coming in around the Toshiba prices. I think I paid about 120 pounds for this, and it's a 256 gigabyte version of it. And it's got a SATA 2 interface, unlike the Toshiba, which has the SATA 3. Now we have the result for this, which is 174, so that's more in keeping with the, the Kingston. Obviously the SATA 3 interface on the Toshiba is the king.